so in the previous session what we did is we created the uh, you know the compartments the groups the policies the users we have assigned the groups to the particular policies so in this particular session we are going to create vcn the subnets the uh, the gateways required the route tables right security list right ingress rule egress rules right uh, so let us go through this particular step so in order to create uh, a vcn you have to click this virtual cloud network right and you select your select compartment so i also lost the track uh, we have to create a compar we have to create a vcn uh, in the ah, in the network compartment so you select your compartment network compartment right and what you do you create a vcn don't select the wizard select this uh, this one so select the vcn the CIDR range uh, should be given here so use the same CIDR range all right uh, that's it so create the VCN right all right so we got the subnets uh, which is empty the route table default route table security list which is all uh, default so we need to create we need to build the build all of these components from the scratch which makes this particular thing very interesting right so the first thing is we need to create the vcn which we created which we created which we created so now next one is we need to create the uh, internet gateway so for that what you do you go to internet gateway and create the internet gateway in the same uh, in the same compartment the network compartment so we are done right so next we need to create the two route tables one for the uh, uh, CM and one for the load balancer so we'll go here create this route table and add the route rules also but let me see whatever is uh, there in the screenshot because it as I said told you it went for 20 30 iterations before we came up okay internet add the internet uh, uh, gateway to this particular route table this internet gateway we just created and done or oh, the cider range is 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 done so next one is we will have to create one more route table for the load balancer so create the route table and let me see oh, internet gateway for this also we need to add the internet gateway route table okay so far we are doing good hope you guys are liking this session is internet gateway and that's it done right uh, so route table is completed now we'll create the security list uh, security list two security list with the with the required rules also we need to create so go to security list create the security list add the ingress rule and egress rules so first ingress rules will add so that is the 22 port for the TCP and then one more ingress rule for the ICMP uh, with the type code 3 and 4 for the pinging purpose and uh, and another cider range for ICMP oh this is TCP so you need to just to uh, see uh, how at how at times I do we just have to be very careful and give this uh, cider range what is the cider range we will see that yeah enter the cider range of your load balancer subnet so load balancer uh, subnet ad so we are going to create this for example 81024 the subnet is created in the next step right so the egress rule so uh, now we create the egress rules oh another ingress rule is there that is also 8081 port okay so here this is uh, 8081 
so now add another ingress rule with the same side or not the same side range but just have to change it to 2 and here also we provide 80 81 just let me counter check whether I did, I did correct a good job or not yeah so this is looks good now egress rule you release all the ingress only we need to give we need to be very specific but for egress we need to release people who are going out let them go so all destination oh i didn't create it i created a wrong place it's egress rule so come to egress rule and uh, release everything that's it so, so first security list has been created all the screens are uh, screenshots have been mentioned so no need to worry the next one is we are going to create a load balancer security list is there anything missing yes So create the next security list in the network compartment, add the one ingress rule with 443. Right and then uh, egress, egress we are going to release everything okay one, one ingress and one egress rule. Right. Security list is completed right we are going to create two three subnets uh, you know three subnets uh, one is the ebs cm subnet in uh, available domain one load balancer also we are going to create uh, in a ad1 and one more load balancer subnet we are going to create in ad2 for a higher availability for high availability we need to follow this path right so let's be this is the this is the last step what we do so uh, hope you guys are enjoying my session uh, select available domain specific select the ad1 right and uh, give this IDR range and uh, select public select the route table select the security list create it so this will take for a while this will take for a while in between you can create the next subnet so this subnet also will be in the same ad1 mm, we need to be very careful while doing this we, there are chances that if you speed up you may mess it up so that's the reason why you need to be carefully do this available domain specific ad1 Give the cider range route table select the route table load balancer select the load balancer this is for load balancer that's where load balancer you need to select create it right create the one more the last subnet the last subnet what we need to create is this one so this one also should be available domain but in here you need to for high availability you need to select the second availability domain select the security list route table did i select the route table ah right so all the three subnets have been created for you right so that's all that's all for creating so next step is how to create a uh, you know e-business cloud manager so in this document uh, as of now what we did we created the required uh, compartments we required groups required policies required users we have assigned the users to the particular group now after that we started creating vcn from the scratch first which we created the vcn right uh, then we created the uh, gateways required uh, that is the internet gateway then we created a route table two route tables we created one route table for the cloud manager one route table for the load balancer 
right we created we created them and also assigned the uh, internet gateway to both of the you know uh, to the b both of the route tables then we created the two security list one for the cloud manager one for the load balancer with all the ingress rules which are been mentioned right so then finally we created the uh, three subnets we created uh, one for the cloud manager on this uh, available domain one and load balancer one then uh, another uh, load balancer the third uh, load ba uh, third subnet we created in the available number uh, number 2 so so with this we have completed uh, uh, all of the steps which are required for the vcn and in the next uh, step what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, uh, e business cloud manager compute instance from the marketplace it will be very interesting keep watching me